hi guys welcome to another video so in this video we'll be talking about the new data set that common voice released this month this was quite interesting uh let me just put this in english so this was quite interesting because we got a data set for this quarter which i think this is the first time that they do this uh, previously, we got a new data set um, in about six months, but now I think we're going to get a new data set for each quarter, which is quite interesting. So, uh, we can see here for the English data set, um, just a, a funny note, um, I was supposed to make a video about this in January, uh, about the new data set. Uh, that was released in, in January, but I didn't make that video and now we got a new data set. So I'm going to do this. Um, so let's say the statistics for this uh, data set. Now we got 93 languages, which is very interesting and amazing. We are getting close to 100 languages, which I think it's a uh amazing achievement uh we are we have 20,000 hours of recorded um speech and 14,000 hours of validated speech um which is amazing uh the data set size i guess you can see is 71 gigabytes uh in if you want to see the difference from the previous data set so you guys can see this one has 2,000, uh, 2,200 hours. Uh, the previous one had, let's see, 21,000, 2,100. So there was a, there were an increase of about a hundred hours in the English data set in just four, four months, which is amazing. Um, and I think we'll see more uh advancements in the next couple of months um you guys can cont contribute if you guys want to uh english has about three thousand hours of recorded speech which could be used to train a um pre-train pre a, a transformer model and use the the remaining two thousand to fine tune a model so this is interesting let's see the languages page so here we can see all of the languages that we got here english portuguese kenya rwanda catalan Esperanto, um french i was expecting french to get a thousand german is close to the goal of uh 20 1200 um hours um persian as you guys can see here they added new languages that i i don't remember specifically which one they were but now we got new new languages as well so um let me see uh they probably are done here cantonese i think it's cantonese which is one of those languages um let me hear some someone speaking in cantonese uh i actually don't have a headphone because i i'm recording on a notebook and i only got three usb ports um I, i'm using one for the mouse another one for the keyboard and the other one for the microphone so i just got um i have no headphones to put on so we're gonna get hear this mm, interesting it sounds like korean okay uh it's pretty interesting because i can kind of i i am i think i'm not able to differentiate 
Canton is from Chinese. Um, but you guys can see there, there must be a difference that is noticeable. So let me see on other languages. I'm curious about Korean. I think Korean was the last language. Okay, Korean is here. Korean um, is one of the last languages that, that I think from that um, family of languages that, that still need to be added. So the number of languages that there are on the roadmap to be added, it's way um, lower than the number I think, oh, I think of languages that there are available. Of course, there are multiple languages, but we only got like a um, hundred or two hundred languages that are spoken with a higher um, number of native speakers. Most of the languages that are in the world are about to be extinct in the next decades, which is a sad thing. And I think um, some project could actually be used to collect data and try to save at least the digital version of the language and maybe some people will learn this language as a second language and pass to the future generations so that's it guys this is the video and you guys can download the new data set for common voice i think it's very interesting that we got a new data set this early so this is it. See you guys in the next one.